What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today I would like to officially welcome you to the MDT Performance Center. Alright guys, well welcome into the official MDT Performance Center. As you guys can see, we have a huge setup. I'm talking massive. This is absolutely huge. This is the official MDT Performance Center. This is where all the MDT talent that you guys see anywhere on the channel, especially the pick fed. This is where they come and get some work in to get better, to get better for all of the MDT universe, the MDT nation out there who watches the pick fed every single time and watches every video day to day. But as you guys can see, I have my full table completely full. I went all the way. I went wall to wall with this thing and I wanted to create an epic performance center where MDT talent could come do their skills, you know, get better in the ring, go to the weight room, get some interview training, get everything they need to go to get ready for MDT Live or Vindication or a big time show that we will be putting on. So today guys, I'm going to take you through the entire thing. You know, I went wall to wall with it. So we got a huge entire, you know, set up here to go through. I'm going to show you guys all the details. So let's go ahead and dive into this son of a bitch. So if we start in the corner over here, guys, you guys will see, this is where my computer sits, all right? So I have my computer facing this way, that way the air doesn't get blocked, because if you point it over there, it would get hot, and it would just, 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 just F me up. So I have that over here, you got, you know, all my stuff going on. Out in front of that, we do have the medical area, and you guys will see No Way Jose. Officially cleared, you know, getting back to the ring after that epic clash, that fatal four-way death match at the Royal Rumble, he's finally getting back to normalcy here and ready to get back in the ring, so look for him to be on MDT Live, who the heck? hell knows where this man could show up. You guys know a fan favorite, No Way Jose, getting ready. But we do have a small medical area over here, and we do also have some chairs to view the uh, the ring right here to watch, you know, the, the practice or the, you know, the match that's going on right now. As you guys can see, we do have the Vindication ring. This is just one of the rings that I have set up. It is the biggest ring. This is where all the practice matches take place. These rings over here we'll get into in just a moment, but this is the biggest practice ring. This is where some MDT developmental talent will possibly wrestle in the future if we put some matches up on the channel uh, for the MDT developmental brand that we've talked about in the past. This is where those practice matches or some of those matches, possibly a takeover event, could happen at this ring right here. I'd probably change it up a little bit, but for the most part, that's what I'm thinking. I think it'd be pretty cool to have like a, you know, a smaller crowd. We come over here, guys. This is the official MDT Performance Center stage, and you guys can see I made it out of the MDT Royal Rumble stage. So we just have a little small gap right here. You guys can see the Royal Rumble right there. I, th I thought it was cool to plug in in, you know, a big time pay-per-view, pay homage to that pay-per-view and have parts of that set here. And we have the stage right here, the stairs to come down the stage, another sitting area in front of the medical area to watch the match that we've covered. If you look over on the left side of the stage, you will see Orange Cassidy, newest signee to Vindication over there, just chilling. You know, it doesn't look like he's putting any work in, but he's chilling. You know, he's doing what he does best. So he is uh, watching this match that's taking place, Samoa Joe versus El Generico, a little practice football game going on right here. If we go beyond that, you guys will see the curtain and the curtain will take you back behind there and go up to the stage where you can enter out. So that's where the curtain takes you. If we move on down guys you will also see that we have the WrestlingFigures.com Ringside Collectibles wrestling mat to put down on our hard surface here for all of the talent. WrestlingFigures.com Ringside Collectibles. Use promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%. You got the little MDT logo there for the Vindication ring skirt that you guys have seen so many times. If you zoom into the back back there guys you will see a couple talents. You got Randy Orton and Ed rated RKO. Just talking business right there. You know, they are tag team partners going after those World Tag Team Championships as they pretty much declared at Hell's Gate attacking the World Tag Team Champion Usos. You just have a little locker room set up back there. Apollo Crews at his locker. You got a ladder up there. Fire extinguisher. You know, any fires break out in here. I mean, we're, we're going to need some fire extinguishers. So we got the official setup going. We have another practice ring right here. You guys can see it does say WWE Performance Center. This is just a basic ring and I figured, you know, they're smaller and you know at the WWE Performance Center, they have like four or five rings at a given time. So here at the MDT Performance Center, we got three rings for all of our talent to get in there and get some work in. You got the steel steps. You got more crowd set up back here with the silver chairs, you know, to uh, watch the two different matches or three matches, whatever they want to do over here. So we do have a couple rings set up.
set up for those. I do want to get an MDT logo to put over that WWE logo because, uh, you know, this ain't the WWE Performance Center. This is this is the MDT Performance Center, right? If you look at the back, guys, we also have some scaffolding back there that just adds to the background. I think it really brings everything to life. With all the accessories and stuff, when you look out and, you know, you get the image contained, it looks like a legitimate small-scale performance center, and that was the whole goal of it. So this thing took me a while to set up, a few hours. So hit a like down below, comment down below, you know, give, give me a comment and a like for the, for the effort right here. Down here at the end of the viewing section, we do have some camera equipment, some little storage units for anything that, you know, any of the guys may need to set up the ring, to clean the area, to do anything like that. You do have that. On the back wall, you do have the extreme set set up to, you know, complete the look, make it look like an official building, and you do have a door to the locker room. You got some stuff set up, storage unit box, trash can with a broom for the janitorial staff. You got some other small things set up for, for all the talent, waters and spray bottles and stuff like that. Another fire extinguisher because this is a big building, man. Just one, one fire extinguisher is not going to be enough, so we do have a couple of those floating around. We have the third ring right here where we have a little practice matchup going. The Miz taking on Elias. It looks like Miz going for a pinfall. You got another MDT referee. That is an MDT live referee with Vindication talent, but they don't, uh, you know, they don't ever get chances to call Vindication matches. So here they are, you know, getting that time in, and the referee is getting in practice as well. So he likes to put in work too. We have the best referees in in, in the world. So we, we, you know, they got to put in the work too to get better. Back here we have another uh, double doors from ExtremeSets.com where you can use promo code MDT to save yourselves 15%. We have Pete Dunn coming through the double doors, probably, uh, you know, feeling pretty good after attacking the Iron Man champion at Hell's Gate. We have uh, a recycle bin on the left side of the door and then, or I guess the right side of the door if you're coming through the door. But then we have a regular trash can on the other side, more viewing chairs to, you know, watch the practice matches and things of that nature. If we come to the left, guys, you will see the weight room and a guy who is always in the weight room lately in MDT, the man is always putting in work. We have Cedric Alexander, who it looks like just got done with the workout. The weight room would obviously need to be much bigger, but for the time being, it is smaller. I already have multiple plans in my head to uh, make this thing bigger or change it up a little bit because I was in the process. I had so many little things I wanted to add, but I ran out of room. So uh, I will definitely be expanding it, making it better, making it bigger as time goes on and as we do things. I'll also probably move this stuff, these two rings out of the way and make this our new filming setup for action figure surgery and stuff. So I don't have to tear all this down. As you guys know, this is where the first arena was for MDT. It used to take place on this table, and then we would split it right here, and then this was the backstage area. So we used to have the backstage area, a little split, and then we had the entire arena with the crowd and stuff. But now that I have moved my arena to my dining room, we have officially made this the performance center and backstage. So where were we, Brad? We were in the weight room. You guys can see the little setup here. You got punching bag, you got a few barbells, some dumbbells, some weights laying around, little tire to flip and stuff. You got a little cooler, a couple chairs here and there. And uh, Cedric Alexander just got done with the workout, man. He's tired. He's got the towel on, putting in work. He had a great showing in the Elimination Chamber for the MDT Championship. Did come up short. He came in third in that matchup, and he put on a clinic, but it was not enough as Roman Reigns did retain his championship. But nonetheless, guys, Cedric Alexander putting in work in the weight room. If we go just beyond that, I'm going to do my best not to knock this over here. I'm going to just try and move this a little bit. And you guys will see we have a practice interview area. And, uh, you know, I just wanted to have a little interview area for all the talent to put in work as well, you know, practice interviews, things like that. So as you guys can see, you will see yours truly on the right interviewing the first ever MDT developmental talent signee to the brand, and that is Flip Fokker right there. His custom figure is still not completed. That's why it kind of looks a little weird, but he is, uh, he's looking pretty good. I still got to finish him, but you know, as far as we got right now, I am giving him an interview. So uh, let's go ahead and give him an interview right now. So Flip, you think you got what it takes? I'll tell you what I got. Your wife's pussy on my breath. All right, so we're going to move on with that interview here. But as you guys can see on the left corner, we do have a ladder and a table little set up there. And if you come right here, this is like the little wall. If you guys can come back, you see we have the weight room. And then you go beyond the weight room where the interview area is. You turn the corner, and you guys will see I used to have my MDT general manager's office door. I don't know what the hell happened to it. i got to find it. But you guys can see we do have an MDT door. You go through that door, and you will enter into the GM slash manager's office or whatever the hell you want to say. And inside the office, we do have, you know, the desk and, the, you know, the, a couple monitors right there so you guys can check out the action happening in the ring. We got a few things going on, MDT contract and stuff. You guys have seen the general manager's office quite a bit. 
And if you guys will notice, this little Money in the Bank briefcase right there, what does that mean? There's a blue version of the MDT Money in the Bank briefcase. What the hell does that mean, Brad? Let me know what you think of that down in the comment section below. What could that possibly mean? But anyways, guys, there is the general manager's office, and we do have, again, the interview area, the weight room, and all the rest of the performance center. I would really appreciate if you guys would let me know what you think of it down below. Again, I did work hard on this. Took me a while to set up, a few hours to set up, you know, getting all the details right, because I like the details. I want to get, you know, detail-oriented and stuff. I don't know what the hell was up with Flip Fokker back there, man. I think that about does it for the MDT Performance Center review and tour, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy. I would love to know your thoughts down in the comment section below. What do you think? What are your favorite details? What are your favorite parts of the entire thing? You also can see that I have five effing lamps lighting this thing up with five pronged lamp heads on it with big white bulbs so that you get that full, you know, warehouse arena look that it looks good in here and we get the proper lighting for all the talent. So, you know, we're not just throwing punches in the dark, but I'm going to get the hell out of here, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy the full tour. Let me know what you think of it down in the comment section below and your favorite part. Shout out to Orange Cassidy over here chilling on the stage. I really love the way this stage looks. I think it looks super badass. Even if I don't, you know, have matches here or like a takeover event like we mentioned, I think it would be really cool to make that the stage set for any MDT takeover or any, you know, developmental brand coming forward. But I got a lot of work to do on those customs and stuff, so it'll probably be a little bit, but I am excited for that. I think it'd be really badass to have like a little three or four match card or something like that. That would be pretty dope. Maybe we could do that before My Damn Nation or something. We'll just have to see. Showcasing, you know, all the different talents and, and you know, introducing you guys to them in the ring, their interests and stuff. I think that'd be badass. But anyways, guys, I'm getting the hell out of here again. I've been talking forever, but thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE action figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at My Damn Toys, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Uh, thank you.